In this video, I am going to show you step by step how to generate an NFT collection with 10,000 plus NFT without any coding experience. So stick around till the end of the video to get the most out of it. Firstly, I will briefly show you how to create different layers for making the NFT using Photoshop. Then, I will show you all the files that you need to download for creating 10,000 plus NFT. After that, I will show you how to open the code that we downloaded in the previous step. Then we will set up everything for running the code in order to generate the NFT. After that, we will run the code, generate the NFT, and then get the output files. So let's not waste any more time and get started. So the first thing that you need to do is create layers for your NFT. You can create them using any app or software that you want. I used Photoshop for creating the layers for this NFT collection. So for generating 10,000 or more NFT, you need to create some layers. You should create multiple variations of different parts of the NFT. For example, I have created three variations of eyes for this NFT project. I have also made three variations of mouth for this NFT. So later in this video, when we run the Python code to generate the NFT, the program will randomly put all these layers together and create as many unique NFT as you want. So to create a project like this, you should first create a project in the app you are using with height and width set to at least 500 into 500 pixels each. Then you should create a new layer. In Photoshop, you can do that by clicking on this icon. Now you can Google some background images or draw a shape and give it a color to set it as the background. You can create as many backgrounds as you want. Just make sure to create a new layer for each background. I only added three variations of the background for my NFT project. Now you can create a new layer and add the body of the NFT to it. I just drew a circle and created some variations of it. You can draw anything you want, but make sure to create multiple variations of it. After drawing the body, you can add some features like eyes, mouth, dress, or hats to your NFT. I added only a few variations of eyes and mouth to this project. You should take your time and create amazing layers for your NFT project. After creating the layers, go to the files on your computer and then create a new folder. Give it a name that you like and then create a few subfolders inside this folder. I am naming this layer the background. What we are going to do now is to save all the layers that we created to this folder. So you will have to save all the backgrounds in this folder, and you can create a few more folders and save all the other layers in it. Now, come back to Photoshop. Now, we will have to save all these layers as individual images. So to do that, first of all, hide all the layers that you have created. Now, unhide the first layer, and then click on the File option, then click on Save As. Now choose the location to save the layer. You can choose the subfolder, then give the image a name. After that, change the file type to PNG and then click on Save to save the layer as an image. Repeat the same process with every layer so that we can use them later to generate NFT at random. Always make sure that you have selected the file type as PNG as PNG images don't have a background. So like that, we have completed the first step for generating many NFT at random. Now, let's move on to the next step. What we have to do now is to download a few files. We will be using them for creating the NFT. So the first thing that you need to download is Node.js. To download it, just Google Node.js and then click on the first result. It will take you to Node.js.org. After that, you can click here to go to the downloads page and then choose the version from these and click download. I am using a Windows 64-bit computer, so I am downloading this file right here. It is a zip file. So, extract it after downloading and install Node.js on your computer. Now, after installing Node.js, let's install Visual Studio Code. Visual Studio Code is the code editor that we are going to use today to generate our NFTs. So, to download Visual Studio Code, head over to Google and search Visual Studio Code. 
Now, open the first result. Click on the download button over here, and then choose whichever version you want to download, and the file will be downloaded. After downloading it, install it on your computer. After that, what you need to do is to download this file. We will be using this for creating the NFT. So, to download it, head over to this site. I will add a link to this site in the description below, so make sure to check it out. Now, click on this icon, and then click on Download Zip. After downloading it, extract it to any folder on your computer. Now, after extracting the file, open up Visual Studio Code. Click on File, and then click on Open Folder. Now, navigate and select the folder that we just extracted, and then click on Select Folder. Now, Visual Studio Code will show you a prompt. It is asking whether you trust the authors of the files in this folder. We do trust the authors, so check this small box and then click on this icon. Now, Visual Studio Code will open up the folder that we downloaded. Now, what you can see over here are all the files inside the folder that we downloaded. When we run this code, it will arrange all the layers that we give to it on top of each other and then generate random NFTs. All we have to do is to change some code here and there and then run the code. Before moving to the next step, I want to give a big shout out to Daniel. He is the author of this program. He also has a YouTube channel named Hashlips NFT, where he makes videos related to NFTs. A huge thanks to you, Daniel for creating this amazing program. Now, let's move on to the next step, which is to set up the code in order to generate the NFTs. So, for setting up the code, firstly, we will have to go into the source folder right here, and then to config.js. We are going to make a few changes here, and then we will run the code to generate the NFTs. The first thing that we are going to edit is this code right here. These are all the different layers that we are going to have for this project. Right now, it shows the default layers in this project. We are going to change these to the names of the layers in our project. Now, open up the File Explorer on your computer, go into the Hashlips Art Engine folder, and then go into the Layers folder. Now, as you can see, the names of the layers in this folder are the exact same as the names of the layers in the code. We will have to change the names of all these folders to the names of the folders that we created earlier in the video. The folders I created were background, body, mouth, and eyes. So, I am just renaming these files. While renaming, make sure that the order of the layers is correct. The background layer should be the last one, and the rest should be arranged on top of that in the correct order. After renaming the folders, the next thing that we have to do is to add the images that we created earlier in the video to these folders. Go into each folder and delete whatever image is already in there, and then add the images that we created to it. So, let's go to the background folder and then delete the images in there. Now, open up the folder that we created earlier in the video, copy the images under the background folder, and paste it in the background folder of the Hashlips folder. Do the same with each of the layers. After finishing adding images to the respective folders, now we will have to change the names of the layers in the code to match the names of layers in the Hashlips folder. So just change the names in the correct order. If there are any extra ones in the code, you can just go ahead and delete them. If you need more of these, then you can just copy any one and paste it here as many times as you want, and then rename it. The next thing that you want to change is this number right here. This is the number of images that will be created after running this code. If you want to generate 10,000 variations of your NFT, then enter 10,000 in here. But I am just leaving it as 10, because it will take some time to generate thousands of images. After setting everything up, now, it's time for us to run the code and see the output files. So to run the code, first of all, click on the terminal and then open a new terminal. Now, enter yarn space installed in the terminal. Now, it will download all the necessary files required to run the code. After it is finished, you can type node space index.js and hit enter. 
Now, the program will start generating all the variations of the NFT for you. After the process is finished, go into the Hashlets folder, and there you can see a folder called Build. Open it up, and then open the Images folder. Now, you can see all the images that were randomly generated by the program. So, that's how you can generate as many NFTs as you want. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like down below. And if you want more of these videos, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications to get notified whenever I upload a new video. I will see you soon. Bye.